hello and welcome back to my channel what you see on my table is another diamond art club painting i'm just sliding the box so, so that you can see it i'm going to hold it up and i'm going to try to avoid the light because it is about 11 p.m so therefore i have lights on in my office it's a little blurry but you'll be able to see the painting when i take it out of the box this is a Randall Spangler, so many books, so little time. For a good week and a half or two weeks even, I've been calling this thing too many books, too little time. But it is, oh there, it's clear. So many books, so little time by Randall Spangler. It is a square diamond painting, which you always know by this blue line that shows up on the boxes when you receive your paintings. It is 22 inches by 43 inches, which is 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. It's not my widest diamond painting. My widest one is currently 90 inches, I believe. Um, but it's certainly my longest at 109 centimeters. So let me tell you, when I saw this, I fell in love with it for two reasons. One, because it has draglings, which are cute little dragons. Two is it has books. And three, it's a phrase that I use all the time, incessantly even. So to have this diamond painting, it was something that I really wanted. However, Diamond Art Club had it out of stock for the longest time. But I put in my email so that they could notify me when it came back into stock. Two of them came in. I wanted both of them, but I really could only get one. The other one was Curl Up With A Good Book. But this is the one that I really wanted. And let me tell you something about this painting. I ordered, I got the email about between 9 and 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning. The second I got the email, I clicked the link, went to Diamond Art Club, bought the painting. And the next morning, around 9 in the morning, 9 a.m., mind you, it couldn't have been much later than that, I got my doorbell rang. And there were three huge boxes out there. I only expected one diamond painting on Thursday morning. Instead, I got four that day, including this one, which made this the fastest turnaround time for a diamond painting that I have ever, ever had in my short journey as a diamond painter. 24 hours diamond art club, so therefore diamond art club for the win. It may indeed be my favorite place of all time now. And I think at this point, I've got 15 or maybe even 20 Diamond Art Club paintings. So quite naturally, I'm already loving this company, even though it's been less than six weeks since I became a diamond painter. So let's stop talking and get to the action. Action being going off screen in order to remove the plastic. I always try to put the plastic directly in the trash because... One of my cats is very fond of plastic, so that's why I rolled away from my table. I'm on my car table because it's a little more spacious, actually quite a bit more spacious. It's not as long as my desk, but it's certainly wider. Okay, no, let's see. It's not as wide as my desk, but it's whatever it is. It's more spacious. Okay, so right now I'm just emptying the box. Obviously, I don't know my dimensions. My desk is five feet long, but this table is only three feet long or three feet wide. But what the reason I use this table to unbox is because I have, it, it, my desk is two feet, three, I, I don't know. All I can tell you is I have more room on this. Forget the math, who cares? It's 11 o'clock at night, I've had a long day and I'm quite punchy right now. Okay, so I emptied the box. There are four things always when you open a Diamond Art Club box. The first thing, obviously, would be the diamond, uh, diamond painting itself with the drills inside. Your big sticker that has the Diamond Art Club branding. And with this, it always has a picture of the image that the diamond painting is with all the relevant information, the name of the diamond painting, what the shape is, whether it's square or round, what type of drills, like in this one, it includes ABs, the size in inches, and the size in centimeters, and also the skew number 
in case you have to contact Diamond Art Club for, for anything. I don't think I've ever pointed this out to you guys before, but that's always on this side. On this side is the schematic or the legend or whatever you want to call it. It includes the order of the drills, in this case, 1 to 53, if you can see that, um, the symbols, and the DMC codes, always on in this manner. Then you receive a sticker like this, which, which is something that I was putting in my planner, but I'm doing something a wee bit different with my planner. So what I'm doing instead is I take this sticker and I'm putting them on my mesh bag. And what I'm doing is, by the way, if I have another type of diamond painting that does not have a sticker like this, a small sticker, I simply just print it on sticker paper and I can still do that. Another thing I may do with this is I may put this on my drill kit. So if I decide to put this on a drill kit, again, I'll use sticker paper. But at the very least, my drills will go on here and in here until I'm ready to kit this. The other thing that comes in every single diamond painting from Diamond Art Club is this specific toolkit. This toolkit always comes in this type of bag. I also buy from Dreamer Designs, which has a like a canvas, a soft canvas bag. Uh, or yeah like a cottony type bag but this is like a plastic bag um, it comes with two things of wax a boat I'm sorry a boat two things of wax baggies a pen in a squishy thing but I don't use these I use uh, uh, custom pens and it comes with tweezers and uh, a tip to protect you you know and oh by the way uh, round diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club and probably other companies do not come with tweezers. The tweezers only come with squares and Diamond Art Club includes a three spacer. So for the sake of uh, neatness, I always put these things back in here until I decide where I'm going to saw them. Currently, I'm storing them in this bag that I label with this with the painting that it is. But I have another idea that I just have not executed at this point. So that puts this back in here. So for the time being, I got my mesh bag started. The other thing that I was doing before I decided to start using that sticker is in my previous videos, you saw me labeling my bag, it would say Diamond Art Club, and in this case, it's so many books, so little time. So my previous uh, kits, like, I would do this. This is from Amazon, Purple Roses. Uh, this just says Penguin because I, I think this, uh, Everyday Deals, so I didn't label the company, but, so that's what I've been doing. But now I'm using my, I'm using the sticker that comes with the kit or I'm using my printer to put the sticker of the painting on there. And that's because I'm, I'm like close to 35 diamond paintings now. So since I like to use these bags, I'm just looking for the opening of this plastic. Um, since I'm using these bags, it just makes it easy for me to know where everything is. I am trying to find out how to open this bag. I didn't want to tear it, but I don't see the opening, so I, I'm just going to tear it at the top. I wanted to open it so that I can store my canvas back in here until I'm ready to fit it or start it. But couldn't find the opening, so I made my own. Okay, so I will move this bag out the way for the time being. And now. Here's the thing, it's 190, no, 109 centimeters. So I know it's going to be too long for this table because what did it say? It says that it is 43 inches long and my table is exactly 36 inches. So I will do the best that I can for you. So I'm standing up and the first thing I'm going to do is grab out the drills and we will look at the drills and whatever else is well i'll just show you really briefly 
There's always a step-by-step -step instructions. Yes, I did do a Diamond Art Club unboxing earlier, and I didn't do show you this, but it's a step-by-step -step instructions for diamond paintings, and there's also a thank you 10 code for 10% off on your next diamond painting. Another thing that I did not tell you, and I think I have to edit a video now, is I am now a Diamond Art Club affiliate, and my code is simply RLR, Robin Loves Reading. And you can get 15% off of your first diamond painting. I made a video today and uploaded other videos today and forgot to mention that, so I will edit those videos. But this is what is in here. And if you don't use my link, which I would appreciate if you did, if you're interested in diamond painting, you get this 10% off. I mean, yes, 10% off. So let's move the drills out of the way for a moment. And let's try to unroll this baby. We can see most of it, especially if I can put it up next to the window. No, I can't. So let's start it here. Um, I know that you couldn't see what I was doing because I was trying to see how much you can do. So all I'm going to do is try to, yes, orient my camera as best as I can. I'm sorry, one more time. Okay, there we go. I wanted to straighten the camera the best that I can because I'm about to slide this. It says Diamond Art Club at the top. The legend is on the left and it's also on the bottom right, which you'll see later. There's a draggling. They're not called dragons on Diamond Art Club. And I did look up draglings and draggling is simply means a cute little dragon. A friendly, cute little dragon. So it's a draggling with a book open and it's on top of a stack of books. There's like a, a pocket watch there. A necklace over here on the left that you can see. I'm trying to find it in the camera. And, it, and I'm still sliding it because it's 109 centimeters long. Another draggling at the bottom. Eating a cookie with more cookies on the table. And some toys maybe. Well, I can't see those. Some balls here. And that's it. Beautiful, beautiful image. I'll put it here for a moment. Uh, nope. It's not going to come clear. It might. It might. Let's wait another. Nope. That's about as good as you're going to get, folks. Okay. There you go. Okay. There's your clear image right there. And your clear image shows you the measurements as well. And the artist is Randall Spangler, uh, licensed through Diamond Art Club. Okay, so that's my diamond, your diamond painting. Earlier, I knew I was about to go out, so I did a diamond painting unboxing earlier, and I did not show you the canvas, and I did not show you the drill field. I was very careless with that diamond painting, but here are your images, and I think that Diamond Art Club is of excellent, excellent quality, whether it's the tackiness of the canvas, or the clarity of the drills. And that's all I'm gonna show you there. Um, when I kit this up, which will be very, very soon, I will replace this clear plastic with parchment paper. I do that with each of my diamond paintings. And I generally, let's roll this up for a minute so I can tell you what I'm about to say. I, for some reason, like to start at the bottom left-hand corner. I work my way over. And then I work left, right to left, and I go back left to right. I don't know why I do that method, but it works for me. I've done, I, I'm on paintings number five, six and seven, maybe. And it's been working for me, so I'm going to keep that up. So now I'm going to roll the painting out of the way, and I'm going to have a seat so that we can go get the drills. I know that this video is going a little bit long, but I thought it might because of the length and the girth of that diamond painting. Okay, so for the sake of cutting out the noise, we're going to get all the drills out at once. And that was bag number one. And this is bag number two. So I just wanted to get all of the drills out at the same time 
so that you don't have to hear that plastic sound anymore. And now that I have the drills out, I'm going to lower the camera because whether uh, it's favorable or not, I like to show you all of the drills. So we're just going to turn our bag so that I can work from left to right. And I'll show you the first stash. Sorry for the noise, guys. Okay, I want to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to bring my camera up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we got 814. Um, I know that we're going to have a lot of duplicates because of the size of this painting. Um, 814, two bags of those. I want you to look at these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous drills right from the outset. 905. 400, two bags of those. I'm going to go fast, guys. 895, two bags of those. 3826, 317. 904, 3371. 798. Wow, three bags. One, two, and three of 3782. One, two, three, four bags of 642. And then 976. Yes, I'm speeding through this because we've got 50. Three colors, did I say? Uh, let me see really quickly. I'm sorry. Yes, 53 colors. So we don't want to make this video too long. I do try to do my unboxing videos as efficiently as possible. Then we have, let's see, I'm totally out of frame here. 898, 602, 3608. So this is a small bag with a uh, smaller portions of drills. 165, 361. I'm twisted, baby. There's a lot of drills here. 141, 907, 937, 208, 935, 749, 37.99, 9.39, 8.20, 1.34, um, 8.15, 30.99, 8.23, 3787 and 3837. Again, beautiful drills, beautiful, beautiful colors. This is going to be one of my favorite diamond paintings. I can tell you that right now. Just putting everything in my bag. I did drop something on the floor that I'll have to retrieve later. Okay, so we'll separate that. Left to right. Here we go, folks. 321. Are we in frame? No, we're not. 321. This one here has a, a stowaway. 334. 600. 900. 413. 550. 414. 498. 1 and 498. 2. 938. 644. I kind of love this cream brownish or light brown, tan, whatever you want to call it. I like that color. 300, 327, my favorite color queen. We get two bags of that, 890, um, 677, 728, 797, beautiful blue, two bags of those, and 783. We have one more uh, strip of wheels to take a quick look at. I always show the drills at the end of my video so that if you don't want to look at the drills, you've already seen the painting. And then we have a lot of drills. Robin can't turn the bag the right way no matter what she does. And now we're going to have some very, very full bags and these will be duplicates, which is 640 times 2, 796 times 2, 3 tens, which is black times 3. Uh, and you're probably not in frame for these last ones. And the last one is only one bag of 301. That's all the drills. 53 colors. You're not going to see the whole painting in this parting shot. But you will you can see at least the top of it. Maybe I will be nice enough to roll it one more time. And there you go. I cannot wait to start this. Wait, wait, oh my goodness. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I got the over 30 diamond paintings, but I am going to get to this soon. Um, I do think, I do think that there is a color along that includes dragons. 
I'm not totally sure who's doing it. It might be Laura, who is Anxiety Art Adventures. When I find out, I will put it in the link in the description. I will put the hashtag in the description so that if you want to, if you have any type of diamond painting with the dragon, you can join in. Don't quote me on that. It's Laura. I just noticed that there's a cat over here hiding behind the books. I just saw that. I'm so glad I unrolled that for you guys again because I didn't see the cat. And now I see the cat's tail, so he is definitely hiding behind the books. Oh, my grandson's going to love that because he loves my cat. Okay, so I'm going to just stop here. It's already 20 minutes, but I want to thank you for your time. And before I, like I said, before I upload this video, I will find out the hashtag for that color along. And I will also put the dates of the color along in the description box below. Thanks for your time, everybody. Bye-bye.